I've just flicked the lure out and this guy's going for it. Oh, what do we have here? Alright, good day everyone. I'm going to do another catch and cook squid video today. But I'm not going to cook over the open fire today. I'm going to do a, a bit of a slow cook recipe. So I'm going to cook over the uh, pot belly here. And what we're going to be having today is squid with kangaroo meatballs in a sort of tomato and chilli sauce. So I'll get everything ready, I'll light the fire, and we'll get into it. Okay, so we've got the fire cranked up now. It's ticking over nicely. And uh, like I said, I want to slow cook, so I'm just going to cook on top of the, the hot plate here. So let's look at the ingredients. We've got uh, from the garden a couple of capsicums, got some chilies, some homegrown garlic, white onion, red onion, uh, bacon. Got to have a bit of bacon in this one. Leaf stock, olive oil. I went out and uh, shot a kangaroo last night. There's the kangaroo. Tin of tomatoes. Tin of tomato paste. But of course, we need the uh, the main ingredient for a squid recipe, which is of course chicken. <laughs> nah, only joking. Let's go get some squid. Where is he? Here he comes. Get rid of all that ink. Let's get a net behind him. It's a squid, oh, a slightly bigger one too. Very nice. Yeah. A bit bigger than the other ones. Okay, well there's the squid you saw me catch. So there's all my ingredients for this one. Squid and kangaroo meatballs and a tomato and chilli sauce. So we'll get the, the fire cranked and get it down to a nice bit of coal so it's a nice even heat. And we'll just keep it ticking over. Just looking for a slow cook, not a fast cook on this one. Okay, so we got the kangaroo underway. As I said, it's going to be quite a slow cook, uh, but that's all right. Uh, next, we're going to put the bacon in, and the reason for the bacon is, apart from bacon being delicious, is that kangaroo is a very lean meat and can dry out. So the fat in the bacon will uh, help to keep the kangaroo nice and moist. Okay, in go the onions, one red, one white. Okay, wait for the helicopter overhead to go past and then I can talk to you. That's looking good. We've got the garlic in there. And here we've got the chilli and the capsicum. We'll pop them in. Right, 
capsicum and chili have cooked down a bit. I'm going to put in just a little bit of beef stock, not too much. And a tin of tomatoes straight over the top. Some tomato paste, probably about half a jar of tomato paste. Let all that simmer down, and it should be just about done. The final ingredient, which is a squid, because you can't have a squid dish without squid. Pop that in. Rosie, there you go, Rose. All right, just let that slowly cook through. And we're ready to go. Okay, that looks ready. Squid with kangaroo meatballs and a tomato and chili sauce. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Get out there, catch some squid, cook them up. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. That'll really help my channel out. And um, tight lines, everyone. Cheers.